Ice Age North America, vast and uninhabited. A frozen land dominated by beasts. Who first set foot on this empty continent is the greatest mystery in North American archaeology. But now a new discovery is rewriting history. This spear point is the oldest man-made object ever found in North America. Scientists believe that whoever made it discovered the continent. During the worst climate our species ever endured, they set out on an epic journey. Struggled across phenomenal distances. Faced incredible dangers. against all odds, reached the new world. But the biggest revelation of all is where these first Americans came from. Seventeen thousand years ago, the world is in the grip of the last great ice age. In the south of France, food is scarce. The humans who live here are modern homo sapiens. They're waging a war for their survival. This is what they have spent days stalking, wild horses. They were hoping for more, but the brutal climate is killing off the herds. They can't afford to let them escape. Clan leader Bayorg knows that to kill big game animals, they must risk their lives. But Guyan is his only son, and Bayorg doesn't want to lose him. The hunters know that game is scarce, but what they don't know is why. Modern humans evolved 100,000 years ago. 
These were the worst climate conditions our species ever faced. They are affecting the entire planet. It is the height of the last great ice age. Throughout the Earth's history, thousands of ice ages have frozen the planet. The most recent one was near its peak 17,000 years ago. Permanent ice spread from the poles, swallowing a third of the landmass. Across the Northern Hemisphere, the continents were crushed under ice over a mile thick. In France, giant glaciers descended from the mountains. Clans of Ice Age humans who had lived here for tens of thousands of years were being fenced into a shrinking land. Many of them have taken refuge from the ice along the Atlantic coastline. This clan has learned to survive here, eking out a living from the ocean. But the fishing is slow. Only Zia, the clan leader's daughter is having any success. There are 15 people in this clan. Each person plays a part in the group's survival. Their specialized skills transform raw materials into tools. Some make weapons from stone. Others use bone needles to make clothes warm enough to protect them. Working together is the key to their survival. But today, hunger is creating tension. Zia! You woolen van! Today, 17,000 years later, only a few tantalizing fragments remain of this clan. Archaeologists call these people Solutrians. They invented objects we still use today, like the eyed needle. They carved images of the prey they hunted, like the mammoth. But most importantly, they revolutionized